Hey everyone, we're doing another performance test. Again, with the P239 brushless impact driver with the compact or high output three, hour, uh, three amp hour battery that Ryobi recently released. And if you haven't noticed by the thumbnail, we're gonna be comparing it to the Milwaukee Gen 3 brushless fuel impact driver. Alrighty guys, so there's plenty of YouTube videos out there comparing the Milwaukee Gen 3 fuel against numerous impact drivers from other competitors. So one thing I don't think I've ever seen yet is compared to Ryobi's low end or low cost brushless P239 uh, impact driver. So you may be thinking, Edgar, you're crazy, man. I mean, the Gen 3 Milwaukee, it's one of the best impact drivers on the market. It's going to blow the Ryobi out of the water. And yeah, that might be so, but what I want to show here more is the type of value you get for the money compared to the top of the line impact driver. Also, we're running the um, more higher performance battery, whereas the Milwaukee, um, this is actually borrowed from a friend of mine, so he doesn't have the brand new high output batteries. He still has the um, XC 3.0 battery, which is, I guess, the older model, but still a super powerful uh, impact driver. And this one, you know, it's uh, this, this is no laughing joke. This is still a very powerful impact for the money. So let's jump into some specs for each impact driver. I'm gonna start off with the Ryobi here. So for the Ryobi P239, it has a no load speed of zero to 2900 RPM. Uh, impacts per minute is zero to 3900 impacts per minute. Now remember from previous video, I mentioned that the P239 brushless impact does not have a selector switch. So it's a variable speed trigger, doesn't have a multi-switch uh, speed selector. Ryobi P239, Brushless Impact has 2,000 inch-pounds of torque. Alrighty, next we're going to jump into the Milwaukee Gen 3 Fuel Brushless Impact. It has a, a higher RPM of no load from 0 to 3,600 RPM. Impacts per minute is 0 to 4,300 impacts per minute. And max torque is 2,000 inch-pounds. So on paper, they have uh, various performance or specs differences. The, um, the Milwaukee has a much higher IPM and RPM. So that extra speed and impacts or blows per minute um, will definitely benefit it over the Ryobi. But again, price difference is quite different. So generally you'll find this Ryobi in sort of one of the um, combo kits. And this one you can find in a combo kit, but you can also purchase by itself. So, so here we have the two impacts, both running 3.0 batteries high output or uh, compact, whatever you want to call it, and the old standard XC 3.0 for the Milwaukee. Okay, guys, so we're gonna start off with four of these screws as fast as I can. So I have my lovely assistant here behind the camera. She's gonna be doing a timer. She's gonna tell me three, two, one, go, and then she'll uh, count or do the stopwatch and then uh, we'll see how quickly we can do it. So I'm not a professional, I'm not a contractor, I do just DIY stuff. So if you see me fumbling around and everything like that, please don't make fun of me. I'm trying my best here for you guys. All right, 15.2 seconds, guys. All right, let me try that again because I, I failed that miserably. I'm gonna cut out that second attempt because the uh, DeWalt bit that I was using wasn't great. So I'm actually using the actual bits that came with these star drive screws or uh, T20, but I guess these are like T T20 plus or something. So these are especially made for these screws. So should have a lot better luck now. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ooh. Time. 11 seconds point eight. 11.8 seconds there. So I forgot to mention earlier, I am running it on speed three, mainly because the Ryobi brushless impact doesn't have a speed selector. So I'm, that thing is going to be at full speed no matter what. So try to do it at apples to apples comparison here. So we're going to switch over to the Ryobi brushless impact now. Alrighty. So now we're switching over to the Ryobi brushless P239 impact with the 3.0 uh, high output or compact battery. So. Let me know when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Time. 9.99. 9.9 seconds there, guys. So um, kind of first thing off the bat, 
I noticed that the slower speed of the Ryobi brushless impact I think gave me a little bit more control compared to the to the full speed of the uh, of Milwaukee brushless impact this thing went spun out so I, I, I think that kind of struggled me a little bit but we're gonna do that one more time and see how this one does alrighty guys so we're gonna do round two uh, screws again with the p239 impact so like, like I just mentioned I think the slower speed of this gave me a little bit more control but you know we'll see how that goes three two one go ah Time. 11.78. Okay, so that little fumble there cost me a little bit of time, but uh, so far, you know, not too shabby. I think I kind of want to try the Milwaukee again on a speed two and see if I can get a little bit more control on that. So doing the Milwaukee fuel brushless again, speed two this time for a little bit more control and see if I can get a better time uh, than the previous two runs with the Milwaukee. So here we go. Three, two, wait, three, Two, one, go. Oh. Time. 10.94. 10.94 seconds there, guys. So, yeah, I think uh, the slower speed uh, or the uh, speed two of the Milwaukee just gave me a little bit more control and uh, my bits just didn't spin out uh, when trying to put in the screws. So, a little bit more control. But... On speed two, I would say it's, uh, speed is similar to the full speed of the Ryobi Impact there. We're moving on to the one inch paddle bit test now. So we're gonna do four holes and uh, we're gonna just do a quick, simple speed test. So uh, my assistant's gonna time me and we'll just see how fast they go. And, all right, let me know. Three, two, one. Time. 26 seconds exactly. 26 exactly, guys. So uh, there you go. We'll have it. And then we're going to switch over to the Milwaukee and see how quickly it can do these four holes. Milwaukee Gen 3 fuel impact driver, one inch paddle bit speed test. The system ready? Three, two, wait. Three, two, one, go. Time. 18.20. All right, so that was clearly faster. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the test, I did put it to speed three. So it was the Milwaukee Gen 3's uh, speed three, highest speed setting versus the P239 Ryobi versus this guy. So again, no variable, no uh, speed selector switch. I did just full speed all the way down. So clearly the Milwaukee is faster. So I looked over that. I want to do that test one more time, but we're only going to do two two holes with the one inch paddle bit. So again, so this is not as sharp as brand new. So it is definitely struggling a little bit. But again, I just want to put these to the test to kind of see how they react with now a uh, more blunt uh, paddle bit. So two holes with the Ryobi P239 brushless. System ready? Three, two, one. Time. 12.34. 12.34 seconds there. So we're going to switch over to the Milwaukee and do the two holes again with that one. So two holes, one inch paddle bit, Milwaukee Gen 3 fuel. Assistant ready? Three, two, one, go. Time. 8.37. Well, there you have it, guys. Again, clearly this, this is the faster or more powerful impact, which we already knew coming into this test. But again, we just want to see what the variation between the two different impacts. Again, low-cost Ryobi brushless impact versus top-of-the-line Milwaukee brushless impact. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna move on to our final test, and that's the lag bolts. Uh, but before that, I wanna do a quick little battery check. So the Milwaukee uh, is still showing full four bars. And then the Ryobi also showing full four, full four bars there. So, um, okay, that's great. Uh, you know, for being smaller 3.0 batteries, they still have quite a bit of juice left uh, after the test we've been using them for. We're gonna be doing the uh, 5 8 uh, by 3 inch lag bolt test here. I have two of them and uh, we'll do those two first and see how quickly we can get them done. And then we're gonna be doing the Ryobi P239 brushless impact first. So is my assistant ready? Yeah. All ready. That's one. Oh, not in all the way. That's one. Oh. Time. 26.81. 26.81 seconds. So, unfortunately, my wood started splitting there, so I don't know if that affects the test there, but... It's pretty much in there all the way. So <clears throat> maybe I'll get another piece of wood here and uh, we'll go with the Milwaukee next. We're gonna do the three inch lag bolt again with the brushless Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 on speed three. Assistant ready? Three, two, one, go! I could already tell that feels way more powerful. Time. 14.31. So that first one, I, I actually sunk it below the, almost below the head. So, uh, and then this one just, just flush with the wood. So, uh, clearly the winner there again, no surprise. It is one of the most powerful impacts on the market, but just, we're just doing this for fun and seeing, uh, what the price difference between Ryobi and Milwaukee will get you in terms of performance here. All right now we're going to do the four inch lag bolt with the Ryobi P239, quick battery check, still at four bars. So here we go. Three, Sus two, one, start. Second one. Keep going, keep going. Let's go. Seven point what? 51. 47.51 seconds for two four inch leg bolts. So I have a feeling the Milwaukee is going to be much faster, but we'll do it right now. Final test with the Milwaukee Gen 3 fuel impact. We'll do the four inch bolt. So I'm using gloves because these uh, lag bolts are really hot and they're burning. So here we go. Last test. Assistant ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Uh -oh. All right, we're gonna stop. Already go outside. I think um, maybe a problem with the test is I think uh, these lag bolts are starting to get dull. It doesn't want to dig in. So we're gonna try that one more time here. Assistant, ready? Three, two, one, go! That was clearly faster. Let's try the second one. Go! Time, time, time. I did. You did. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, not 100%. My bit got, or uh, my socket got stuck, but you guys can definitely see, you know, ah, whatever. I don't really need to finish the test. Uh, what was the time on that one? 
35. 22.35. So I think the, the Ryobi was like in 45 seconds or something like that. You know, 47 seconds. So clearly way faster. So even with these dull lag bolts, which are having trouble digging into the wood, which maybe we could subtract another, I don't know, what do you think, Danny? Like three, four seconds? Yeah. Right? So we subtract another three, four seconds from the Milwaukee because these, these lag bolts were getting dull, so taking a little bit longer to dig into the wood. Again, clearly much faster. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the performance test between the Ryobi Brushless P239 and the Milwaukee Gen 3 fuel impact driver. So, and you know, I said it, I repeated it many times in the in the video that we knew that this brand new or top of the line impact was going to outperform the lowest cost brushless version from Ryobi. Um, I even, I'm, I think even in other videos, if you guys check out, uh, I think it's um, Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff with Al, he does a really cool test with the upgraded version of the Ryobi brushless, the P238, which is a little bit more powerful, and it has the speed selector switch compared to this one. So again, both of these brands are sister brands. They, um, they are both owned by TTI. And each one with its price, different prices, you know, obviously Ryobi being low price and Milwaukee being a little bit more expensive, has its particular set of customers that each company is trying to go after. Milwaukee trying to go after the contractor, the high-end grade uh, consumer, or not consumer, professional. And then Ryobi is for the DIY homeowner, a consumer, maybe prosumer. So I've seen many questions online or uh, saying like, hey, you know, I have Ryobi, I'm thinking about upgrading to Milwaukee. Um, you know, you know, what's the differences here? I mean, obviously more, a little bit more expensive, or not as a little bit, quite a bit more expensive, more power. Um, but if you already own Ryobi and if it's getting the job done for you and you just want to upgrade to this because you want the best of the best, um, you know, more power to you. If you have the money and the funds to, to do that, do the upgrade. But if money's tight and you are already pretty happy with Ryobi, you know, maybe you don't have to upgrade to the best of the best. If You know, this will get the job done for, I would say, 90% of homeowners and DIY people out there. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this performance test. If you like these type of tests or knowing more about Ryobi upcoming tools, uh, specials, and tool deals on Ryobi, click the subscribe button down below. We'll see you next time. Take care.